In this video, we are going to transpose formula, meaning changing the subject of the formula. You will find this on page 169 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Transpose formula, changing the subject. Formula are written so that a single variable, the subject of the formula, is on the left hand side of the equation. Everything else goes on the right side of the equation. Sometimes we need to rearrange a formula so that another variable is the subject. This process is called changing the subject of the formula. So let's look at an example. Make x the subject of the formula. Now if you look, there is x. In this case, y will be the subject, so I must rearrange it. Now, because x is positive, I leave it on the right-hand side, and I take the 3 to the left-hand side. Okay. So now, this is my subject, but usually I don't write it on the right-hand side. I write it on the left-hand side. So now, all that I will do is I will swap the sides without changing any signs. So swap the sides to get the new subject on the left-hand side. Okay, I want you to do two. I want you to stop the video, do number A and number C. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. So in this case, I start by saying, okay, here is try now 49, let's just move it up. So if I'm just going to go in A, then it's going to be, and I write it down, so Y is equal to 4 plus X. Now again, what must become the new subject? X. Now because it's positive, leave it on this side. Take the 4 over, or, or cancel out the 4, so subtract 4, subtract 4. So it's y minus 4 is equal to x. Now just swap the sides. And x is equal, don't change anything, y minus 4. And there's the new subject. But if you look at number C. Now number C was y is equal to 4 minus x. Now in this case, check, the x is negative and you don't want it negative. You can, but it's, it's a longer process. So I'm rather going to cancel it on this side or take it to the other side by adding x, adding x. So what it's in going to be is that it's x, okay, so I add it. There is the 4, it stays. This one to subtract here, I subtract y, subtract y. So on this side, because it's a positive, it will just be subtract. And there is my new subject of the formula x, okay. Again, let's look at another example. Make D the subject of the formula. Okay, now in this case, what I usually say is first get the term with the new subject alone on the side. So in this case, the term is, ne the term is negative, and I don't want it negative. I want it positive. So I will rather take it to the other side. Did you see there? To get it positive. The E was already there. But now I want to get this term alone, so I am remove this E to the other side. Subtract E, subtract E. And now I can start working in the term. So I divide free, divide free, and that will be my changing subject of the formula. Again, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Um, and I want you, this is Y, yeah, I think seven. Okay, this is enough. Okay, so if I start there, I'm just going to move this a little bit up. So make C the subject of the formula. So in this case, it's going to be A is equal to 4 minus 3C. Now, if I underline, can you see? This is negative. I don't want it negative. I want it positive. So I will add 3C, add 3C. So I'm actually taking it to the other side. And then I want this one also to the other side. Subtract A, subtract A. And then I divide by 3, divide by 3. So the value of C equals 4 minus A 
over 3. Okay. And that's how we do it. And then if I do look at number 7. Uh, in this case, and actually you were doing it already in examples. Um, it's actually for me something that could have been done in junior secondary phase. Because you are starting already in other subjects to do that. But it's just linear equations that you're basically going to rearrange. Now, in this case, I must make y the subject. Now, I will not move it from this right-hand side because it's positive. I will rather move everything to the other side because always I want to get the term first alone on the side. So if I move the other one, I move this one, subtract 2 on both sides, I get this. And now I will say divide 10, divide 10. And now I will actually get x minus 2 over 10, and that's y, but the, usually the subject is on the left hand side, so just swap the sides. Don't change anything, just swap the sides. Please don't cancel, it's two terms over one term. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now if I look at example 51, we are now at 51. Okay, so let's first check the example. So given that T is this express P in terms, so make P the subject. Now again, the problem in this case, and I want to show you, is that there's two P's. Can you see that? Oh, that's a bit long. So in this case, I will first take out P as a common factor to get just actually one P, but it's going to imply that it will be two times. And then I can start dividing. So after I fact, um, take out the common factor, I divide by 2 plus 8, divide, and then I just swap the sides. Okay, so this is very important that you recognize that. So again, stop the video and do try now 51. Do for me just number 1. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, so P is equal to 5XY plus Y. So it's 5X plus 1. Did you see what I do? I, I take it out as a common factor. Y divide Y is 1. And now I'm just going to divide by the bracket 5X plus 1. The bracket 5X plus 1. So I will end up with, I want to just move this a little bit down. Okay, so I, I, I want, don't want to skip this step. It's not necessary, you can already swap. Okay, so this is actually what I end. But now I swap the sides and I will have P over 5X plus 1. Okay, and that's how we will do it. Okay, let's look at another example. Now, in this following cases, make the letter in the square bracket the subject of the given. So now it's fractions. So let's start with the first one. Because it's one term equals one term, I can cross multiply, and that's what I did. And then as soon as I did that, I'm just going to just, oh, actually X end up alone on one side. It becomes the subject. But if I look at this one, I will just first make my denominators the same, okay, and then cancel it out. So multiply both sides by V to cancel the denominators. And then I see, oh, there's more than one V, so I take it out as a common factor. And then I divide by the bracket, divide, and there is the answer. Okay, again, I want you to stop the video. So I want you to do, I think I'm going to let you do two because it's, it's a bit more complicated with the fractions. But again, don't try to do too many things in one step. Just do one thing, go to the next step. Then you will not get mixed up. Okay. So let's start with number one. So T is equal to SR over 100. And who must become the subject? R. 
Now again, um, I put it over 1 and I cross multiply because it's 1 term equals 1 term. So it's SR equals 100T. And then I just divide S and I divide S. So therefore, R will be 100T over S. And make it a capital. It was a capital. Okay. Then number 2. Let's look at number 2. So P is equal to Q plus 3R over T. Now in this case, it's again easy because it's, it's one term equals one term. So if I do this and I cross multiply, I will get PT equals Q plus 3R. Okay. And then I'm just going to find, um, so we must become the subject R. There's R. So leave it because it's positive. I leave it on this side and I take this one over. So it's going to be PT minus Q equals 3R. And then I'm just going to divide by 3, divide by 3. So therefore, I'm going to get, ah, okay, uh, again I put in the extra step, but it's not necessary this step. So therefore, R equals PT minus Q over 3. Okay. Um, and that will be, again, my final answer. Let's move on. Um, I want you, in this case, I'm going to let you do another one before we move on to 53. Just want to move it down. I want you to do for me number B. You, as I said, let's first do because there is again cross multiply, so it's easy. Do number B, stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can again continue the video. So in this case, A equals 5 plus 6 minus W over 3. Now, it's, it's almost like you make the denominators. Now, let me do the method which I think most teachers prefer. It's because the LCM is 3. It's almost like you multiply 3 over 1, multiply 3 over 1, multiply 3 over 1. So that 3 is cancelled, but you end up with 3a equals 15 plus, oh, that doesn't matter, because it's positive, 6 minus w. Okay. Now who must become the subject? w. So if w must become the subject, then I'm taking it over because it's negative. I don't like negative. Okay, and then I can already say 15 plus 6, that will be 21. Bring that one over, and it will be 3a. Okay, and let's just see, that will be my final answer, 21 minus 3a. As easy as that. Okay, let's move on. Make r the subject of the formula. Now this is square, that's the problem. But it's one term e equals one term, so again I can cross multiply. Divide 2 to get that r square alone. And then how do I get rid of a square? I take the square root, but don't forget. If you take the square root, it's plus minus. In practical examples, you only need to consider the positive outcome, but in changing subject of the formula, you must show both options, plus minus. If it was cube root of cube, and you take the cube root, it's just either positive or negative. But if it's square or fourth or six, all the even numbers, there will be a positive and a negative. Okay. Again, I want you to stop the video. I want you to do number B. And I want you to do, yes, I, I like this one that it's a cube C, B and C. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, so let's look at number B. So in this case, it's going to be K equals Y squared plus A. 
Okay, and I must make y the subject. So first, again, it's positive, so I leave it on that side. So it's k minus a is equal to y squared. And now, to get rid of that square, I take the square root, and don't forget plus minus, k minus a, and that's y. So therefore, y equals plus minus square root k minus a. And that will be my final answer. Okay. And then number C. So this is V equals 4 over 3 pi r to the power 3. And it's again r. Now, I just want to rearrange. Put it over 1. This is meaning 4 pi r 3 over 3. That is what it's meaning. So if I cross multiply, I will get 3v equals 4 pi r 3. And then I will divide 4 pi. I divide 4 pi. And now, actually I'm getting r 3 equals 3v over 4 pi. So now, I'm just, oh no, 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 let's, let's first go to that step. I want to just move it up a little bit. Now it's, it's cube, so I must take the cube root. Don't go plus minus. So it's 3v over 4 pi equals r. And then my final answer, my final answer, so therefore, I just, I just swap the sides. There's my 3, there's my 3v, there's my 4 pi. Okay. Okay. Now we go to the next one. Rewrite the equation such that a is the sub h is the subject of the formula. Okay, there is h. Be, care be careful. It's almost captured in terms of that square root. So what you do is you first isolate the part where it's captured, the square root. So get it alone and then you can get rid of the square root. So basically, I first divide the in front, pi r, pi r. Now it's alone. And, and how do I get rid of a square root? I square both sides. So if I square, then it I happen this. Then I take that one over. But now it's square again. And now I take again plus minus h. I'm, I'm repeating. Don't do too many things in one step. Just do one thing, another thing, and you will not get confused. Okay, I want again, I want you, okay, I'm going to let you start easy, so let's do A, uh, but then I want you to do C. That's the two I want you to do. Um, just remember here at D, how do you get, get rid of a cube root? You just cube both sides. Okay, that was just, but I'm not going to let you do that one. Okay. Okay, so let's start with number A. G is equal to square root H plus I. Who must become the subject? I. Now again, this is easy. To get rid of that square root, I square both sides. So it's going to be G squared equals H plus I. I, I must become, so it's g squared minus h is equal to i. So therefore, i is equal to, I'm just swapping sides, uh, g squared minus h. As easy as that. Okay. Now, the next one, number c. I, I think I'm going to make space, otherwise my space always runs out. Okay. So if I look at number c, it's really nice. And, and you're going to use it for other subjects also. So do all the sums. And if you have to do it more than one time, do it more than one time. It's part of science that you are going to manipulate formulas. Okay. So in this case, we must become the subject, or L. That L. But again, it's captured there. So in order to get just first the root alone, I divide 2 pi, whatever I do on one side, the rule of equation, I do on the other side. So I'm getting t over 2 pi equals L over G. Okay, now I square, I square. So now 
our get, and I can leave it first in brackets. I think I can actually leave it until the end in brackets. Um, so let's just see, this is number C. Mm, okay, 54, I'm just checking something. Okay. Um, is it necessary to multiply it out? We will see now. So this is going to be T um, over 2 pi, and it's squared, and that's L over G. Okay. Oh, yes. Do you see why? Because I want to cross multiply, and then it must be in. Okay, I'm going to just put it in now. So it's 2 t squared, 2 times 2 is 4, and that's pi squared. And it's ju just due to this fact. I cross multiplied, so I get g t squared equals equals L, okay, let's first the number always, 4L by squared. And who must become the subject? L, L. So I'm just going to divide by 4 by squared, divide 4 by squared. So then, I'm just going to move this down. Then I'm going to get that, and I'm going to swap the sides. You're good now. So this is just, um, everything will cancel except the L. So then L is going to be, I'm swapping sides, so just that. So everything canceled, cancel, 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 just L, and I swap. So G, T squared over 4 by square. Um, it's just due to the fractions that I had to multiply it in, in order to get a numerator and denominator. If it was, always check if it's necessary. Okay, now we go for, okay, I, I think let's first do D. Do D, and then we go for the really tough ones. Okay, so if I look at number D, then Y is equal, and now it's, there's the 3, and then it's 2X minus 5. Okay, and so in this case, I'm just going to do it like this. To get rid of that cube root, I'm just going to cube the sides. So I will get Y to the power 3, and this, why is it cancelling? Can I show you? Because a cube root is to the power 3. And if you multiply it then with 3, it's basically can cancelling. Okay, this is indices. So you will get 2x minus 5. And who must become the subject? x. Now because it's positive, you leave it on the, there. So plus 5 equals 2x. And then you just divide 2, divide 2, and then, okay, I'm teaching you now to leave out that one step. So you can already swap the sides. x equals y3 plus 5 over 2. Okay, let's go for the tough one. If you look at something and you must make a, this a, ooh, and there's a lot of a's, there's a, there's a, don't worry. First get rid of the root. So squared both sides, did you see? So what I did is I square and I square. Okay, that's what I did. Now bring it in because it's fractions. So R squared, W squared. And now you can just put it, don't forget, put it in brackets. And just cross multiply. And then multiply it out. Okay. Now who must become the subject A? Just get it alone on the side. Now how many A's are there? I see there A. And I see there A. So get that terms on the same side. So take that one over, that one is already, and take the rest to the other side. So it's on the same side. Then, luckily it's both A squared, so I take it out as a common factor. And now, as soon as it's out, then I just divide the bracket, divide. And now it's squared. And how do I get rid of a square? Plus minus square root, and I swap. Again, it looks difficult, but break it up in steps, it's really not that difficult. Um, I want you to do just number one. Okay, because number one takes you a little bit further using that changed formula. 
Again, you can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. So z is equal, and now it's going to be 2sw minus, okay, minus y squared over 2y squared plus s. Okay, so basically, now again it's a square root, so how will I get rid? I will just square both sides. And there's nothing in front, so it's fine. I can just do it like this. So it's z squared equals 2sw minus y squared over 2y squared plus 5. Okay, put this over 1. We must become the subject y on this. So first let's multiply, cross multiply. One term equals one. So we will have 2sw minus y squared equals z squared bracket 2y squared plus 5. Okay. Now we're just going to multiply that out. So now, if I'm going to multiply that in, so I will have 2, oh, sorry, the pen, just get it correct. So it's 2 is W minus Y squared. I have to first multiply it here. It's very difficult to see the 2 and the Z, but it's 2. Let's first put the Y squared, then the Z squared, plus 5 and then the z squared. Okay, let me underline the subjects y. There's a y, there's a y. So get that on the side. So take that one over, take that one over. So we get the green on the same side. So it's 2 is w um, minus 5 z squared equals 2 y squared z squared plus y squared. Okay, now, now we are going to do the next one. Now we're going to take y squared out as a common factor. So it's again 2 is w minus 5 z squared. Take y squared out as a common factor. Then it's 2 z squared plus y squared divided is 1. Then divide by that bracket. 2 z squared plus 1 2 z squared plus 1. Okay. Now you sit, sit with y squared. Now that cancel. So um, I'm going to, oh, I can move it up. Okay, this is 55 I'm doing now. So let's just take that away. Okay. So to get that, um, I'm going to just say y, and I'm just going to take the square root plus minus of 2sw minus 5z squared, 2z squared plus 1. And now, therefore, I'm just going to change the, the sides. Um, it's, it's actually an s. Just be careful, that's an s. It's not a 5, it's an s. So y is equal to plus minus, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. So it's 2sw minus, it's not a 5, it's an s. z squared over 2, it's a 2, and this is a z. And this is a square plus 1. And that's your final answer. Okay. And each find the possible values of y when s is 4 and z is 1 and w is 14. Okay, so let's just do that substitution. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line here and try to substitute it there. Okay, so I'm just going to look. So it's... Let's get another color. Y equals, okay, now plus minus. So it's going to be 2. 
in the place of S, I'm going to put a 4. In the place of W, I'm going to put a 14. In the place of S, I put a 4. In the place of Z, I put a 1. And I put a 2. And I put a 1 in the place of Z. It's going to be square plus 1. So that's going to be plus minus uh, 1, 1, 2, minus 4 over 3. And that is going to be plus minus 36. So therefore, y will be equal to 6 or y will be equal to negative 6. I repeat, this is a very important part in science that you will be able to change the subject of the formula or we can call it manipulate the formula um, in order to work to, to make the working easier okay and the substitution